Good morning to all of you. Title of my talk is Thermoelastic Interaction with Memory Dependent Derivative a State Space Approach. So before we start, we'll give a brief introduction of the theory. So if I talk about the mathematical theory of elasticity, it is occupied with an attempt to reduce to calculation the state of strain or relative displacement within a solid body which is subject to the action of an equilibrium system of forces or is in a state of slight internal relative motion and with endeavors to obtain results which shall be practically important in application to architecture, engineering and all other useful arts in which the material of construction is solid. So you see the classical uncoupled theory of elasticity predicts two phenomena not compatible with physical observation. First the equation of heat conduction uh, in this theory does not contain any elastic term. Second the heat equation is a parabolic type predicting infinite speed of propagation for heat waves. So that was the theory uh, concept in 1838. Next, the second generalization of coupled thermoelasticity, actually Biot in 1956 formulated the coupled theory of thermoelasticity by eliminating the paradox inherent in the classical uncoupled theory of elasticity. The elastic deformation has no effect on the temperature. So to overcome this situation, several generalized thermoelasticity are uh, model. The first generalization is due to Lord Sulman in the year 1967 and they have used a thermal relaxation time. Thermal relaxation means time lag needed to establish steady state heat flow. Okay. Next generalization is according to Green Lindsay in the year 1972. They have used the temperature rate dependent theory and which involves two relaxation model. Now the most relevant develop, uh, theoretical developments in the subject were made by Green Nagdi Model 2 and Model 3 in the year 1992 and 93. And they developed three models of generalized thermoelasticity of homogeneous isotropic material, which are uh, actually in this model they have used a temperature rate term is absent. So, this is called actually in that is why it, uh, it does not sustain dissipation of thermal energy. The heat transfer equation does not involve any temperature rate term. And as such, this model admits undamped thermoelastic waves in thermoelastic material. Okay. And recently, Roy Choudhury, Professor Roy Choudhury in 2007 uh, has developed a model, uh, a three-phase lag model. Actually, to study some practical relevant problems, particularly in heat transfer problems involving very short time intervals and in the problems of very high heat fluxes, the hyperbolic equations gives significantly different results than the parabolic equations. According to this phenomena, the lagging behavior in the heat conduction in solid should not be ignored, particularly when the elapsed time during a transient process are very small, say about 10 to the power minus 7 second or the heat flux is very much high. So they have used three parameters, delay parameters, delay time tau t, temperature delay time the phase lag due to temperature gradient tau q and delay time tau t caused by the microstructural interactions. Okay. So now we come to the formulation of our problem. So we consider uh, a thin semi-infinite piezoelectric body with stress-free boundary at the near end of the body. A thermal effect is given which raise, rises the temperature of this end to a prescribed temperature with known function. The direction of the piezoelectric being parallel to the x-axis, we consider one dimensional disturbation disturbances of the medium. The constitute and also it should be point to be noted that there is no free charge inside the periodic medium okay now uh, if we formulate the equation formulate the problem the constitutive equation and the equation of motion can be written in as equation one where sigma is the stress d is the electric displacement e is the strain theta is the temperature change and k star is the additional material and if we write the heat equation that is in our model we are using heat equation for memory dependent three phase lag model memory dependent three phase lag model where d tau q d tau t and d tau nu represent the memory dependent derivative d represents the memory dependent derivative with respect to tau q with respect to tau t with respect to tau nu that is tau t u tau q tau nu are the three legs par parameter in three phase lag model and we want to mention that we conclude that the main feature of the memory dependent derivative is that the functional value in real time also depend on the past time. Okay, That is why d tau is called the non-local operator. 
where as the integer order derivative or integration is called a local operator and we also use the kernel functions which can be chosen freely i will explain that in numerical results also in our problem we consider the boundary conditions at sigma 0 t equal to 0 that is stress free boundary and uh, maintained at a, a thermal flux is given uh, known function ft is a known function of time and next in method of solution we apply laplace transform that is we apply the laplace transformation of all the previous uh, equations and the equation 4 gives you the laplace transform of memory dependent derivative and k t minus j is the uh, kernel function we can choose this kernel function uh, freely so uh, uh, according to our purpose so after some manipulation and sub uh, calculations on that will arrive at equation number second order uh, differential equation on theta bar and e bar bar represents the laplace transform uh, equation number five and six where l is given by a3 by 1 plus a3 omega and a3 is given by this expression this expression a3 is very very important because it has some results on the numerical values and also the second equation equation number six uh, where m and n are given by this form these are the after the manipulation and after simplification next we apply state space approach by Bahar and Hetnarski in the 1978 paper. So in this approach actually what we did, we actually formed the equation 5 and 6. You look at the equation 5 and 6. This is 5 and 6. These are two second order differential equation. We write the these two equations can be combined in the vector matrix differential equation. So vector matrix differential equation is given by equation number 7 and where v bar x s, s is the Laplace transform parameter and a s the matrix a s is given by this. Now on this matrix, on this matrix we apply spectral decomposition. Please point out that spectral decomposition we have applied and also using the characteristic equation of a and also we can calculate the exponential of minus bs bs is another matrix x by kelly hamilton theorem and after so many manipulations and calculations in this method that is the state space approach we are applying we are arrived at the most simplified equations like 8 equation 9 and equation 10 where e1 e2 are given by uh, this uh, form that is in the last line of our slide that is so our main equations in the transform domain are equation 8, equation 9 and equation 10 that is E bar stress strain theta bar that is the temperature and the sigma bar in the Laplace transform domain. Now come to the numerical results and discuss, uh, discussion. To get the solutions for stress component, strain component and temperature in the space time domain we have to apply the Laplace inversion formula to the equations 8, 9, 10. Once again, please have a look on that equations 8, 9, 10. These are the main equations in the Laplace transform domain. So we have to, uh, we have to apply the Laplace inversion. So we are taken, which have been done numerically using a method based on Fourier series expansion technique. So we are using inversion by numerically based on the ex Fourier series expansion technique that is by Honing and Hardy's in the paper 1984. And so our solutions in the uh, we can get the solutions and we can analyze them numerically so for our purpose computational purpose the material constants are taken as f not equal to 1 epsilon equal to 0 0.003887 alpha is equal to 0 0.036991 k star equal to 7 and where alpha is given by this where beta is the stress temperature coefficient rho is the density and <coughs> C is the specific heat and C11 is the elastic parameters and tau q, tau t, tau nu that is by three phase lag model we have taken this 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 1.01 which actually follows the stability condition of the three phase lag parameter. Now we have drawn the variation of temperature with respect to x and t equal to 0 0.25 and d equal to that is the electric uh, 0 0.5 and the lag time lag is uh, taken as 0 0.001 and we have drawn the graph for different kernel k1 equal to 1 k1 uh, equal to 1 minus t minus j by 2 and the third so three kernels we have taken and without uh, 
uh, MDD without me memory dependent derivative and comparison with the uh, memory dependent derivative. Okay, so we see in the first diagram temperature is maximum at x equal to 0 0.00, so which satisfies the theoretical boundary condition. Also, its magnitude in each case gradually decreases with the increase of x, which is physically possible. So, here we have drawn the comparison with memory dependent derivative and without memory dependent derivative. Next, the diagram 2, figure 2, we represent the stress distribution with respect to x, taking the same parameter as mentioned in 1. Here we see sigma vanishes as x equal to 0, 0.0, satisfying the theoretical boundary condition because there was no stress at the boundary. The, and you, if, you, if you see from the graph, the steep jump of sigma occurs at any particular value of x. Okay? And uh, the third one, also the same parameter as mentioned in uh, 1 and 2, E has a steep jump at a particular value of x in the neighborhood of which the strain wave shows its variation from its progressive nature to compressive and ultimately these waves dies out for any value of k. So this is our small representation because of lack of time we have uh, restricted our presentation to write this. If you have any doubt, any questions, any queries, please feel free to interact with me. I can send you all the things, all the queries. I can answer you all the queries. Thank you so much to the organizer to give me a chance to present my paper. Thank you.